What's up everyone, Ted here with the A-Team. Today I'm here with Zach Walnow, a cinematographer who has shot a ton of music videos and shows, including the musical CW series, I Ship It. Today he's gonna be walking through a couple tips on how he lights and shoots musical scenes. Let's do it. So I'm at Hurling Studios. I've got a 40 foot white psych here. So we can't use little lights. We can't use little sources. So I've got a 120 daylight up here. I've got a 300 daylight up here and I have three LS1s on tungsten going into a six pi. And those are probably the smallest sources you could use on a stage this big. We've added a red gel to this one. Uh, our actors are wearing a red and a blue outfit. So we are gonna go kind of theatrical. We're matching our blue backlight with our red special light here. And then we've got this like soft tungsten blue to fill them in. So right now I've got three LS1s uh, on tungsten going into a six by bounce. Uh, and that's giving us a nice, big, soft source to fill in our actors' faces. When you're shooting musical numbers, when you're shooting psychs like this, you need to think with big sources. So your basic art kit's not gonna cut it. You're gonna need to work out large sources. If you don't have something like a six by frame, you can use a sheet, you can use whatever you want. So if you come away with anything from this, realize that musical scenes generally require a ton of light. If you've seen Hairspray or Singing in the Rain, you know the genre is usually about being as bright and high key as lighting setups come. So for this scene, we had to use a lot of our brightest fixtures to illuminate the entire white psych and get the look Zach really wanted. Remember though, musicals are not music videos, and while they can be very stylized, it's usually not a total free-for-all with lighting because there are characters and specific plot points that you're trying to emphasize beyond just setting a cool or visual mood or looking cool in general. So now that we've let everything, let's dive straight into our coverage. When I shoot musical numbers, I like to cut between like a wide and like a loose medium, like kind of torso, shoulder size. That's a really good way to get your coverage out of the way. You can shoot one camera on a wide, one camera on a medium. But another trick to that is using the actor's movement to help give you new shots. So we like to set up our, our dueling wides and make sure that one of them is gonna land in a medium at some point. So in the scene that we're gonna shoot today, I talk to them and it sounds like they're gonna be running towards us a few times. And that means that there's an option to use a whole shot from beginning to end and it's gonna be a really satisfying ending. Like with musical lighting, in many ways, coverage for musical scenes is similar to coverage for your stand-up narrative scene. You've got your wide, your medium, your individual close-ups for each character. With musicals, though, because there's an element to enhance the reality of the scene, Zach took some liberties with the slider shots to move around his dancers and making his edits feel a little more motivated by the dancing and the beat of the music. Your cinematography should give us a heightened sense of reality, like in music videos, but still remain grounded enough to keep us in the narrative and follow the character's emotions. So there you have it. There's the episode on lighting musicals with Zach Walnow. I'm Ted from the A-Team. I'm going to give a huge shout out to our dancers, Eden Nowakowska and Mike Starr. Another huge thanks to our rock star, gaffer Matthew Hebbs, and our crazy talented instructor, Zach, and of course, Hurling Studios for letting us shoot there. And finally, remember to leave a comment with your favorite musical scene. Let us know why it's your favorite. Talk about the lighting, the coverage, everything. We'll be picking the best answer and giving out one of our new Aperture Space Lights. So follow Aperture on Facebook, Instagram, The Works, and finally, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can actually keep up with our latest uploads. I'm Ted from the A-Team. Thanks for tuning in, and we will catch you guys next time.